All right, welcome to another vlog, and uh, yeah, it's it's a bitter vlog um, because I mean, depending on no matter what the outcome would be uh, last night, um, it's it's a it's lost for this country. It's a loss for our liberties. It's a loss for the economic stability of this country. It's a loss for uh, intelligence and it's a loss for uh, responsibility and freedom and liberty um, in the sense that no matter who won last night, we were stuck with a warmongering Federal Reserve, you know, uh, backing, um, big corporate backing, war machine backing, anti-constitutionalist, puppet, um, and that's what we have um, in the re-election or reselection of Barack Obama. So my prediction was wrong. Um, I'm glad cities didn't burn down last night. Um, and as I rethink of why they would put Barack back in office, I guess honestly it's because, and this is kind of where I'm going with this as, as far as my view on this on this vlog. Is that really the mat the issues don't matter anymore in American politics? Um, it really matters is sound bites, um, things social media, things that people can post to make little funny jokes on on social media uh, about Big Bird and and about binders full of women and so on and so forth. The facts don't matter anymore because. People will continue to vote based on a cult of personality, based on a popularity contest, based on their political parties. Um, I heard a guy last night on ABC talk about, you know, I'm supporting Obama because he's going to give all pe poor people health care, and oh, we're going to win tonight, and it's going to be like a national championship, except on political, like in a political stage. That's the fucking problem, people, is that you look at this fucking, not, it's not a game, okay? You look at this situation like a fucking football game, okay? And it's not a fucking football game anymore, people. It never has been. It's called life. And as long as you fucking look at it as some big competition, you're going to continue to let the people fuck us. The people who are really in charge fuck us, no matter what political party it is. But no, Obama supporters are all celebrating, all fucking happy, you know, yeah, we get to have, you know, another four years to continue the rights that the... The, the the Bush administration had screwed us over for eight years. Never mind the fact that drone attacks keep happening tenfold to what fucking Bush had done. Never mind the fact of the National Defense Authorization Act. Never mind the fact that medical marijuana dispensaries are being busted in by Obama's administration. Never mind the fact that lobbyists from Monsanto and fucking Raytheon have high positions in federal, you know, agencies like the FDA and the Pentagon. Fuck all the facts. It's all about feeling good. Because apparently being a fucking, you know, mindless, brain, brainless fucking Obama supporter, or Romney supporter for that matter, if you support Romney and think he's going to really change things, and he's pro-Constitution. Um, but the fact is, is that, the facts in American politics don't matter anymore because you have a, a, a electorate who watch football and sporting events, watch reality TV. Life is a big fucking competition to these people. They don't care about the health of the economy. They don't care about debt. They don't care about the civil liberties. They don't care about Afghanis and Pakistanis who get bombed on a daily basis. They don't fucking care about this. And when you are going to hopefully eventually wake up Hopefully there will be time left to save this. And maybe the option is maybe that we need an, an option out of politics. Maybe we need 
you know, to come together and not necessarily a political revolution, but a social revolution. But as long as the social engineers continue to get us to play against each other like a fucking football game, we're going to continue to be fucked. I didn't mean to get all fucking pissed off here in this in this rant, but in this vlog, but it really upsets me to see the neener, neener, neener attitude of people. Oh, and oh, if you don't agree with Obama, you're a redneck. You're a racist. You're a Republican. No, I'm a fucking free-thinking human being who sees something wrong with both parties. And actually, I don't really like a lot of the third-party options either. But as a free-thinking human being, I can call the shots no matter who it takes to. I can call a fucking spade a spade. I can say that person's a liar. And I'm telling you right now that Obama has duped you once again, and you're fucking buying it. So, welcome to America through 2012 to 2016. <sighs> when are people going to fucking realize and wake up? I don't know. But that's that's it. I, I was wrong about my prediction. Um, drone attacks will continue. Torture will continue. The Patriot Act will, I'm sure, be... Reauthorized again by Obama to the bl you know, blissfully ignorant Obama supporters who will just go, oh, oh, well, he needs another four years to really like you know continue the, what Bush started. Oh, he really needs he needs more time. But what are they going to say in 2016? Uh, two terms, Mr. President, and um, the Constitution is still in shambles. The economy is still in shambles. Drug war is continuing. Unemployment still up. Um, we have a mountain of debt. Um, yeah. What are we? Oh, well, we need another Democrat. Because the Democrat's what we need. Fuck off! I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this fucking country. Wake the fuck up!